I just can't believe it. Where is this going to end? Next thing, BMW is going to charge us for the wheels that we roll under our vehicle. Or they're going to charge us for the steering wheel that we use to navigate between the lanes. Or they're even going to charge us for those little heater vents to provide heating and cooling for those days that we need it. I just can't believe it. Where is it going to end? Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. This is really the beginning of what we see as the end. BMW, in my opinion, is morally bankrupt. They're taking the gouge fiesta to an entirely new level. Have you heard in the latest news, UK, Germany, South Africa, and New Zealand as well. Now even Korea is now starting to see the first inklings of what microtransactions actually mean in the BMW world. That's a cutesy fartsy little word for, we're going to charge you more for less. That's right. So what's happening is BMW is now sending cars to market. They have fully equipped with all the hardware to operate all the equipment that every vehicle would have. And they're claiming that they're doing us a service. But the service really has to do with charging you every time for that particular service. Let me expand on that a little. But before we do, I have to tell you that in my personal opinion, BMW has been finding creative ways to squeeze and irk every last penny and milk it out of the myth mythical cows, as it were, or essentially treat their customers as ATM or roving ATM bank machines. That's right, they're, they've been creative in the last number of years. Number one, I know a lot of manufacturers do this, but BMW is notorious. You have a check engine light. Bingo, we won't look at it unless you unless you approve this $250 fee that we're going to charge you to even look at it and diagnose it. Okay, yeah, that's not new in the industry so much, but that is a premium dollar amount. And what makes it matters even worse is back in the day, BMW used to blend that cost in. So if you decided to get the repair done at the dealership, they would waive that and blend it within the final repair cost. Now we all know that probably got added in there somehow, but at least the optics of it looked right. And it was, they said they would eat the costs if you took and continued on there with the repair at that particular dealership. Now they're so bold as saying, no, we're not doing that. You're gonna eat it. So we're gonna charge you $250 diagnostic fee, and then we're gonna charge you whatever the time and labor is to fix your car. So it's always just squeezing every last ounce out. Let's also not forget that BMW has been investing millions and millions of dollars upgrading facilities. Why? Not just for plastic component creation, but also specifically 3D printing, which means that they can create and generate body panels. They can actually create parts that are under the hood, even more importantly. Parts that we know historically have problems in staying alive. A lot of those parts typically melt down or expand and crack under numerous heating and cooling cycles. And it means that you're changing out parts. But that's the business model, again, in my opinion. And you'll notice, oddly enough, after four or five years, kind of once warranty sort of sails off into the sunset, that's when you'll find that you're starting to have to change some of these expensive parts. Water pumps, thermostats cooling hoses, all those fittings start to crack and leak, oh, somewhere after a half dozen years or so of ownership. By that time, warranty's gone and you're stuck paying thousands of dollars of bills. Remember, 50, 60, 70,000 miles is typically your target number. And it's not by accident that most BMWs start to see failures in that range. So clearly they're investing in systems to to further facilitate that business model. That's not something new, but they're building on it. They're expanding on that. Yes, here's another one. So they're talking about microtransactions now where they're including the hardware in your car, but they're charging you a little fee for it for the monthly use of it. How bizarre is that? That is to me next level. The parts are there. They're even telling us they're doing a service by actually adding in the hardware and all we have to do is unlock the feature by paying the subscription fee. Now, sadly, some examples happen to be automatic high beams. They might be charging you a subscription fee as well as adaptive cruise control. And did you know if you wanted heated seats because you know a lot of us live in Northern climates, they're gonna charge you potentially upwards of $18 a month. Now, while that may not sound a lot or 180 or $200 a year, do that over a 10 year time frame, two grand to have heated seats in time in a 10 year time window. How bizarre. The hardware is in there. It's just another means 
for the greed to pull the dollars out of that little pocket of yours. Thank you very much. Naughty, naughty BMW. How about a couple more bizarre ones? $117 to allow engine sounds to be emitted in your cabin, which we all know are fake to begin with. And it's an absolute bizarre feature because if they did it right, like the old school BMWs where you actually hear true exhaust tones coming out of the exhaust, you would never need to artificially create this electronically generated noise making machine. Also, $235 allows you to collect the video received off of your camera's recording capabilities. Of course, almost like Tesla, where you hide, where you can where you can record standalone video of any activity around your vehicle, you can do that too, but it's gonna cost you, like I said, 235 bucks. And of course, you want a heated steering wheel? Again, a lot of us from the North, maybe live in Canada, maybe Northern Europe, of course, even Northern US. Obviously, heated steering wheel is a great feature. It is a luxury car, but they want to charge you 12 bucks a month for a heated steering wheel. Absolutely bizarre. I just, I just cannot believe it. Now, if you can believe this, this has been going on roughly phasing in since 2020. Sadly, slightly under the radar. Notice the time frame that we're talking about. That's right. Most people are hunkered down, just happy to get themselves a car. So notice how it just sneaks on in the back door. But there's some other factors. For example, you can get the law enforcement speed camera identification is another feature that you can pay a little extra for. Now that I get it. That's not a normal mode of operation, but still it's a bit greasy to charge for that, right? Driving assistance, another one. How about the current map updates on your navigation is another one to keep it uploading. It's going to cost you some bucks. And even get the service inclusive system is also, of course, it's going to cost you money. It almost seems like doesn't matter what it is, BMW is going to continue charging you more and more and more. Not sure where all the justification comes here, but clearly the big heads sitting around the big global table are clearly trying to squeeze every ounce of lifeblood out of you and I. Just a sad state of affairs given where we're at in the industry and in the market and the economic times and inflation and people having less money and less opportunities. It's just seems like even more insult to injury in my opinion and not to be surprised but there's been many customers already expressing the fact that bmw is just deep into the greed and they're actually exploiting the customers and that's a very very sad day but bmw rebutted by said well at least we're installing the hardware free of charge wow that makes me feel really nice ouch i don't know what each and every one of you all think about this I'm not too happy about it. I know a lot of other manufacturers are starting to find other creative ways of greasing the consumer. This to me is just not transparent. It's greasy. BMW is certainly not waving the banner or bragging about all of this. They're phasing it in very gently and quietly. But as you buy your car, you'll start to find these sorts of things popping up and becoming more to the availability. And of course, some of these features, the button might be there but you may not be able to actually activate it because it has to be unlocked through a piece of software patch that you have to pay for through the magical subscription. So enough about that, everyone. Not sure. BMW, again, ultimate, I don't know. Ultimate money draining machine. I think that's just the way I see it in my personal opinion. Yes, I still drive an E60 M5. I think that's from a generation when they have a little bit of pride yet in the brand. But beyond that, it just hurts me to say this, that BMW is trying to do these things to the customer, the loyal customer base that just keeps going on and on and on. And I don't know what you all think. Is this something that goes down smooth, like a nice glass of cold water? Or is it just something just turns your stomach? I need to hear from you guys. Please drop me a line. Let me know what your thoughts are. Most importantly, though, you're definitely going to want to check that video. And I'm going to share with you why used BMWs are just so cheap. Hope to see each and every one of you. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. We'll catch you real soon. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.